Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the React Model pop-up video. Um, we're going to be covering the CSS this time. Um, we did the functionality last time, so let's just jump straight back into it. Um, yeah, I'm going to change the name of this function to begin with because I don't think it actually described what we were doing very well. So I'm going to change it to toggle model state. And I'm just going to start building out our HTML. So we want, because the model background is going to cover the actual full screen, um, we're going to want to have an actual like sort of wrapper inside that the model will actually fit inside. So I'm going to do div class name and I call this model inner. And then inside this, we're going to have an image. So let's do a wrap for the image as well. And then let's go to Unsplash. And let's just find a random image we can use. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using this one. Uh, let's try this. So I'm just going to take the um, URL. Let's just do an image. Source equals. And then let's close that off. And then this is going to cover the left hand side and then we're going to have um, the right hand side which is going to be model text and then yeah let's just have like a h2 tag and some low ramsum and then Form. Let's just put a button in here. Let's just say join now. Imagine it was a pop up for some salesy thing. Um, yeah, I think yeah we've got everything covered that we need. So if we save that, oh, have I broken the page? Did I change, change the thing? Ah, yes. Let me just debug this, see what the issue is. Okay. Okay, it's probably something to do with the styling. Um, let's have a look at the divs. Yeah, the button's at the bottom. Okay, um, to solve that, we can easily go into our code, open up app, do CSS. I'm gonna split this to the right-hand side of the screen so you can see what's going on. And, Let's just do let's set the position to absolute we'll do left not right not top not top not I don't think we need all these things but let's just do it anyway. Okay, cool. So we're not gonna be able to close that now so let's refresh it and we want the background to have um, 
to match the A. Not, not, not. ST, no point. Seven. Yes, it's cool. And now let's start styling the inner model. So let's just do model inner. I'm going to set a fixed width to it of 900 pixels. But I'm going to do a max width of um, calc. So it's going to take the full width of the page. I'm going to do 100% minus 60 pixels. And this essentially means that there's always going to be some padding on the side if we. Well, the image is broken and breaking it now, but I just did. Dot model image. Image. Yeah, we'll fix this now. Um, so in model background, I want to do uh, display flex, and then on my model in there, I'm going to do margin auto. So that's going to bring it into the middle for us. And I now want to separate this to the left hand side and the text to the right hand side. And to do that, we want to do um, display flex and flex direction row. So as you can see, we've got our model um, structure now. And hopefully if we bring it in, yeah. So this is what I was talking about earlier with the calc. Um, you're always gonna have this sort of margin on margin on the side um because the width will never go over 30 pixels here and 30 pixels here and let's set a background color so we can see what we're doing so in model in that i'm gonna do background I would also clean this up a little bit if I was doing it properly, but for the purposes of the of a tutorial, I think um, it's good enough. Let's do the color text white, and I also now align the text to the left, and let's put some padding on there to make it look a bit better. Oops, got that. We want to add padding on this div, which is model text. That's cool. So, yeah, I think we can clean this up a little bit, but let's just focus on the buttons for now. If I do model text, now I'll tell you what. Let's just do because we're working in this. Um, we're only we've only got this sort of functionality in this app. Um, I'm not going to be adding it to, I'm not going to be adding any other components. So I reckon we can just do a global button. Oops, I want that to be padding. And let's put the background to a nice green color. Okay, let's get rid of the border. And I also want to set um, a better line height for this P tag. So let's just do model in uh, model text. Two hundred and eighty percent. Two 
and I'm gonna do model text but um, display block and width 100% text align center So we also want to actually have a um, option for the user to be able to exit the model. And um, you could actually add like um, a sort of X up here so they could exit it. But just because um, it's a tutorial, I'm just gonna do a button down here. And I just wanna say exit. I'm going to set a class name to it as exit button and then on my button I want to do a selector which is not dot exit button so this is going to apply this styling the green styling to every single button in the app apart from exit button so this is just going to have a default one and let's just do a exit button padding 15 pixels display block with 100% and background color none transparent actually border not and I'm going to put the color white and just to show, show you that this toggle state works here as well. I want to do um, an on click again here. And then I want to do the arrow function. And then I also want to call this toggle model state function again. We don't need to pass it through anything. Save that. And now, oops, it's not working. So toggle model state should be switching model state to false. Um, um, let's just have a look. I think it might be something to do with pointer events. What I was talking about earlier. Uh, As pointer events, we should change that to visible. If we save this now, Click exit, the model will actually exit the page, uh, actually exit the model. And yeah, so if we brought the screen down now, we'd see that this image actually goes up here, which doesn't look too great. Um, to resolve that, because we're using um, flex, these divs should actually be the same size. Um, let's just inspect to see. Let me get this out. Yeah, so these divs are the same size. So that's all we need to do is to target the image itself. Um, And yeah, we just need to do the height 100%. And this should now be responsive. As you get down to the um, smaller screen sizes, you may decide to completely remove um, the model image. And you would do that with a media query. Let's say 500 pixels. And we want to target the model image div display none and then on mobile it would just look like that so yeah obviously there could be some uh, more improvements to it but i just wanted to show you that 
using the react hooks can make your life much easier and i think i've seen some videos of people um, doing pop-ups in react and they just seem to overcomplicate things and really that's all you need is this amount of code and obviously to display the class but yeah i think um there's a lot of like issues in the web development world where people are just overcomplicating code and down the line it's going to bite you in the backside because simple code is easy to read it's um, less heavy um, in terms of processing and it's just i find it more elegant to write so um, if you guys like this video and you would like some more similar videos please um, leave a comment below or leave some, some suggestions and if you've got any um, tips to how, know how to improve this um, you can leave them in the comments below as well for anybody else to see I'll also post these files on to GitHub if anybody wants to clone it and have a play around. Thanks guys.